things that I'm good at, you know, so uh, there's one, uh, you know, profession that actually welcomes potheads and drunks, you know, and that's stand-up comedy, so I thought, I'll give it a shot, you know, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I always kind of thought I'd either be a comedian or a serial killer, so anybody that doesn't laugh at that is going on the list. I see you out there. I'll follow you home. Don't worry, Lou. Oh, my grandma found out that I lost my job. She's a real nice lady and everything, and she uh, come over and she brought me some of my grandpa's shorts that didn't fit them anymore, you know, and she goes, I brought you these shorts, you know, I heard you lost your job, and uh, these don't fit your grandpa anymore, and I thought you could use them, you know. Like I said, she's nice, and I thanked her and everything, you know, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh yeah, how am I going to pay my bills with used grandpa shorts, you know? <laughs> Or am I going to stuff them in an envelope and write Verizon Wireless a letter? Dear Verizon, please accept these shorts as payment. My grandma said, my grandpa only wore them a couple times. She paid ten bucks, so I thought if you could give me like five towards, you know, my balance, that'd be cool. Thanks, Verizon. Oh, you know. I think uh, of all the jobs that are out there, though, you know, and high-paying jobs, low-paying jobs. I think one of the worst jobs, regardless of pay, has got to be sperm counter at one of the sperm banks. You, know? <laughs> you got your college degree and your microscope and you're sitting in your cubicle and you're just sitting around with a bunch of jizz just counting all day. <laughs> 797,958, 790,959, so on and so on. <laughs> Thank you, Brenner Rapids. I'm Brian Scott. You guys are awesome. Brian Scott! Yeah, races have been like sports, you know, sports names like the Redskins and the Seminoles, you know, Indian names like that. Nobody ever mentions the Patriots or the Cowboys or anything, but and nobody ever talks about the racism and everyday ordinary products like cleaners, all-purpose cleaners and that kind of thing. You know, I bought some all-purpose cleaner called Spick and Span the other day, and I think that's pretty racist. You know, you wouldn't see a. a, a advertisement for bleach called Honky Clean or like Cracker White or something or you know you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't see an advertisement for like a male enhancement product called Big Big or something like that you know uh, that'd be racist that would be but Spick and Span that's fine you know and, uh, I went out with this Eskimo girl one time I kid you not you think I'm joking but I'm not I went out with this Eskimo girl and Things were going real good, you know. We got back to my place, and she started going down on me this time. I thought, all right, I'm going to get some this time, you know. And when she got down there, though, she just started rubbing her nose on it. I thought, what the hell? You know, and it felt good. I'm not going to lie to you. And I didn't stop her. You know, I didn't stop her. I, I let her do her thing, and I thought I came, but come to find out she just had a cold. And, uh, <laughs> She made quite a mess down there. <laughs> so I'm starting to develop a reputation, you know. I'm starting to develop a reputation as someone that you never heard of, so that's good. Uh, a lot of women here, that's good to see. I like I like the women, but I'm, I'm jealous of women, you know, because uh, they can do so many different things with their private parts, you know. And, uh, you know, they can do all kinds of stuff, you know. You can't piss on trees, no. But, you know, you guys can... You guys can, like, make eggs and stuff, which are delicious, you know, and... I like them runny, so you can dip them in the toast. Oh, that's the exact response I was looking for. Women can also uh, make babies. You know, which is really cool and delicious as well. Uh, metaphorically speaking, of course, uh, even though I don't know what that means. But, uh, women, uh, you know, they can develop whole monologues about their vaginas, you know. They, they can hide stuff in them and smuggle things, which is great. <laughs> and 
I say I'm jealous of women because as, as a man, you know, as men in general, we can only do a couple things. You know, we can uh, piss and come. That's about it. You know, I, I'm sorry. I, you know, I shouldn't say that. Uh, uh, urinate and ejaculate. You know, I'm trying to keep the dick joke clean here, even, even though I just got done talking about eating babies. But, uh, you know, and... and Ejaculate is a word I've never learned to spell. I'm not sure how to spell it. It was never a word in the spelling bees when I was growing up in elementary school, you know. My teacher never said to me, All right, Brian, your word is ejaculate. Spell ejaculate. You know, and me being the smart ass that I am then and now would have said, Can you repeat the word, please? You know, and I hated spelling bees, you know. I, was, I think spelling bees would have been a lot more fun had the teacher, you know, my teacher in third grade, Miss Olson, I think it would have been more fun if, if she would have included dirty words, like, All right, Brian, your word is fuck it. Spell fuck it. You know, I, I would have said something like, uh, Can you use it in a sentence, please? <laughs> she probably would have said, Spell the fucking word! <laughs> but, uh, getting back to my original premise that, um, you know, uh, uh, Oh, I forgot what the hell it was. Musical penis, that's right, that's right. I wish I could do more with, with, with my penis, you know, because, you know, I think, like, playing music would be cool, you know, because, for one, it'd be easy to learn how to play it because you got your hand on it all the time, you know, and, uh, you know. Plus, it would be totally cool when you're getting, like, a blow job, you know, you could, you could request songs and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby, that feels good. Uh, can you play Freebird again? <laughs> That's my time on Brian Scott. Enjoy the rest of the show. Brian Scott, he's a good friend of mine. Let's get over Brian Scott. Brian! All right. How's it going, Grand Rapids? All right. It's good to be back here. I actually didn't go anywhere. I've been here the whole time. But it's good to be back on stage here in Grand Rapids. And uh, I was at a bar the other day, you know, and... Uh, I like to go to the bar and get drunk on like Tuesday morning around you know, 10, 10.30, something like that. Went to this one bar, it wasn't that busy, you know. It was slow in the morning. And, uh, but I sat down, you know, at the table and I uh, waited for like 20 minutes, you know. And finally the waitress comes over and kind of a bigger gal, you know. And she comes over and she goes, you know, sorry about the weight. And I said, ah, that's all right. You're not that fat. my own distillery, basically, in my own house. And uh, still in my own vodka. And uh, when I come out with my vodka, you guys can all try it. But I'm going to give it a realistic name. You know, I'm not going to call it Sky or... Grey Goose, Mohawk, 5 o'clock. I'm going to give it a realistic name. Like, Piss in the hamper by a cut. <laughs> and our slogan's going to be, if it's not piss in the hamper, then what the hell is it? <laughs> a lot of my jokes start out with, I was at the bar this one time. <laughs> and I was talking to this drunk chick, all right? And uh, she says to me, I can tell you a small dick, because you have small hands and small feet. I said, well, you know, it depends on what you compare it to. She says, like what? And that's a perfect impression of her. I don't care what you say. And she says, like what? And I said, well, if you compare it to your huge pussy, then yeah, it probably would look kind of small. <laughs> kind of like if you, you know, take a telephone pole and you throw it in the Grand Canyon, you know? Nobody's really going to notice that. You guys think I'm joking, but she did have a big pussy, you know. I found out later on that people were taking $5 horseback tours of it, you know? <laughs> One guy I heard took a hot air balloon ride up in here. <laughs> I'm not one to spread rumors, but I heard Osama Bin Laden might have been hiding out there for a while. 